Okay, let's take a let's take a kinematic equation. Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2ab. We're going to rearrange it for d. So this will not make this complex. So remember the first thing you do is first rule is we look at bed mass. You're rearranging, so we start from the right hand end. So we're looking at d. And so we're going, is there anything subtracted from D? We'll plot the D in it. No, is there anything added to it? Yes, VI squared. The important thing here is we take this across as a blob. We just treat this as a blob. So we go, because it's addition, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract that blob VI squared. And the rule is what you do to one side, you must do to the whole of the other. So I'm going to subtract vi squared from that side as well. Now if I add vi squared and subtract it, they cancel out. So we treat this, the vi squared, as blob. Because it's not the d. We're only interested in the d. Anything else is just blobs. So now I have vf squared minus vi squared equals 2ad. And then looking at bed mass again, we look at the right hand side, subtraction, no, anything added to d, not now. And then multiplying d, the 2 and the a are both multiplying d. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Goes to division. So I'm going to divide this side by 2. So if I divide both sides by 2, it cancels out. So we now have Vf minus Vf, whoops, sorry, lost the squared of that, equals AD. Now it goes, anything else I'm multiplying D? And the answer in this case is A. So I divide this side by A, because remember the opposite of multiplication is division. And I divide this side by A. And when I'm dividing this side by A, I just put it under that line that's already there. I don't add a new line, I just put it under that line. So now we get Vf squared minus Vi squared is equal to, uh, divided by 2A is equal to cancel out the D. Now I'm going to put the D on the left hand side. Squared minus VI squared. All over 2A. Remember we have to do it for the whole of the side, so we'll put that line under both the VF and the VI. Let's do another example using the kinematic equations. Well, same equation was used before, but now we're going to rearrange bi. So again we're going to use the same process that we used before. We're going to look and see bed mass. We start at the right hand side. So is there anything subtracting from vi? No. Is there anything adding to vi? Yes. All of this. 2ad. And we treat that as a blob. That's a blob. It moves as one unit. So what's the opposite of addition? Addition goes to subtraction. That's rule two. So I'm going to subtract that blob from the right hand side. I also must subtract that blob from the left hand side. Because the second rule says, what well, well the third rule says what we do to one side we must do to the whole of the other side. So these cancel. We add and then subtract the same number and they go away. So Vf squared minus 2ad equals Vi squared. Now at this point we ask the question, have we actually answered the question? Have we actually rearranged the Vi? The answer is no. We're after Vi and this is Vi squared, which is not the same thing. So what we have here because we've got the squared, well, we have to go through this again. So we go, anything subtracting? 
No. Anything adding? No. Anything multiplying VI? No. Dividing? No. Any powers of VI? That's where the exponent or the O bot mass. Are there any powers? And the answer is squared. So the opposite of squared is square root. So if I take the square root of that side, that will cancel out. But the third rule says what I do to one side, I must do to the whole of the other. So, so that means I must put the square root side over the whole of that side. Notice I didn't just put it over there, I dragged it all the way along and down after that. So now, the square root side cancels out the squared side. So VI equals root of VI squared 1 plus 2 OD. That is complete.